So do you know what kind of sewer line you're supposed to use when connecting to a septic tank? Well, neither did I and neither did the two Lowe's employees that I spoke to apparently since they kind of got me to buy the wrong stuff. So there are various type kinds of sewer approved pipe which differ in price and use different sizes of fittings. So there are actually three types in Lowe's uh, which I'm showing you right here on the side. Um, so they're all PVC, they have kind of different names such as Strong Call for like a green version of it or DWV Schedule 40 um, or there was another white one which seemed you know pretty weak. Um, they were all approved for sewer use so which one should you use? So the answer is you should use the DWV Schedule 40 which is the stronger kind. Um, it is slightly bigger you will see that it has a larger outside diameter than the other one and it will require the same DWV approved uh, fittings which are more expensive at least probably twice the price of the other 4 inch PVC fittings but you probably want your sewer line to last as long as possible so I think there's no doubt in my mind that this is a sound investment to go with the expensive kind. Today I'm going to install my sewer line which is what I mentioned in the previous episode um, you surely remember that I got a septic tank installed the septic tank installer did one run of pipe outside of the tank and right now that pipe is actually ending right here where you left the stake. So now it's my job to use this pipe here and run it all the way where I need it to be. And the idea is that you want to do it now versus when the framing is in place because I will have much less room to work with. So the first step is going to be to really find out where do I need my sewer line to be, you know, in reference to the, to the cabin. So right now I'm a uh, pretty much sitting where the bathroom will be. So what my plan is, is that I'm going to measure from the rear wall all the way to the wall of the bathroom. And that's where I will want my sewer line to be, which I know is approximately about here. And so then we're looking at running, um, I think I measured it, it's about 24 feet. So r right where I'm walking now is where I'm just gonna trench this out and then eventually connect to what he's done here. So everything I'm doing here is really, again, based off the plan. So as I was mentioning, you can see where the bathroom is going to be in the rear right corner. And so obviously my main water wall is going to be this wall here, which, I mean, I made everything on purpose, obviously, so that all the water would go through one wall because you have the kitchen on one side and then on the other side, you're going to have the, you know, the shower, the toilet and the sink um, for the for the bathroom. So I want, I guess, my my sewer line to be in this vicinity below this wall. So I think this wall is, you know, five foot seven from the rear. Five eleven is about here. So probably somewhere along here would be fine. So for this job, you probably would want to get some of this, which is a shovel that's exactly made to actually do trenches. Because if you use just a regular shovel, you're going to end up digging a lot more than you need. So that's the stake that he had left. All right, where is that pipe? Ah, I see it. Here it is, and when I'm looking at it, it looks like I got, I bought the wrong pipe from Lowe's. That's what I bought, and you can see that this literally won't fit on those pipes, because again, they're much thicker, so they have their own uh, fittings and everything. So I am now back from Lowe's, I finally got what I needed. Obviously, if you're using those, you need a whole new set of fittings, because they're different size. So this one is the wrong type, but it's the right angle. So that's what I'm going to use as a go-by to know exactly where, where exactly is the line that I need to follow. My line needs to go, which is actually not too bad from what I had drawn. I think it just needs to be, it just needs to be maybe uh, moved a little bit. Thank <laughs> you. 
So that, I made some decent progress on uh, trenching this out, but as you can probably see, this is far from being straight, so and that's my fault. So unfortunately, I'm probably gonna have to oversize the hole so that I have some wiggle room. So I finally got the pieces I needed. You could see I, that was the original 45, which was not gonna work as this was gonna push my line completely out of the way. So I finally found a stall to get a 22.5. And this is what I'll be using here. And hopefully this will line up more or less with my trench. So I'm about to go ahead and just dry fit everything. So the most important thing is that we really, really need to make sure that, you know, we have a, a good slope. So for this, I'm visually trying to understand what would the bubble look like for one inch of slope. So I'm just gonna get this randomly. So this is level, um, so this is about six. And so right now what I'm trying to do is if I lower it by one inch over four feet, which is what I'm trying to achieve, where, what is my bubble looking like? Because that's what I'm going to be using for that pipe. The bubble needs to be touching the outer ring, at least on this level. So that's what I will be aiming for. Yeah, this section is sloping way too much. So I'm going to have to dig all that stuff down. So I think I'm pretty much good here, but all this here is too high. So I'm done widening the trench, which probably is the widest trench ever to just fit one four inch pipe. I'm sure if a plumber were to see this, they'd probably start cursing me, but I'm doing this for the first time. So there's a learning curve. This looks good to me when it's like, right at the bottom that's exactly what i was aiming for is really I just want to raise this up up until it's fully level and you can see what measurement you got and yeah i'm verifying that i do have one inch here so we're looking good i'm ready to glue this so i'm back to disconnecting it first up i have to connect this obviously this is disgusting so i'm gonna clean it up so really clean it up you want to put this all over here. Put a bunch all the way around, so even all the way underneath it, which I don't really get to see. You're going to do the same thing inside the fitting. So all the way, the two parts that are going to touch each other need to be coated in this. It's impossible to open those cans. Okay, I'm pretty sure you have to go fairly fast. So you don't want it to get so now ready for the connection and let's see oh so now i really have to make sure that i have it kind of where i want it which i probably should have marked but you really want to just hold it for a second because it will try to naturally push out i think that's good before i connect the rest i need to install a t because i'm going to want to clean out i'm going to want my clean out right here under the deck structure so that i can easily access it but that it's not necessarily visible i'm just going to go ahead and uh, cut it here Okay, we're gonna keep moving. So, now I have the T. There we go. Hey, we're almost there. So now I'm gonna need to use a, a couple. You can kind of join all those pieces together. All that's gonna stick out on the other side is a 90 degree sweep. So obviously you don't wanna get a straight 90 degree because that would be uh, too steep of an angle for you know anything coming down the sewer line. So I'm now measuring for my clean out. So that's the top piece that will go, um, you know, at the ground. So I just want it to be like really barely on top of the ground. So I just need a foot. I need to connect those two first. 
and then connect those pieces. And then you got that nice cap that will go just right on it. So I apparently forgot to recall, but anyway, pretty straightforward. I just added the last piece, connected it to the 90 degree sweep, and I just finished up by putting a bunch of painter's tape on top of it to prevent, I don't know, any kind of insects of animal to, from getting in there. I'm now done with uh, setting my sewer line. I'm pretty much ready to backfill it. I dug too much at the bottom, and so I need, I want to, I'm gonna add soil and kind of shove of it below it but otherwise this would just drop once I backfill it but right now I'm just uh, backfilling a little bit so that I'm going to be able to compact the soil around the pipe because I want it to be constantly supported the whole way um, of course I'm pretty lucky that my soil is soft I don't have any rocks or anything if your soil is bad and you have mostly rocks you might have to lay a bedding of sand below the pipe and so now what I want to do is really get in there and make sure that this is nice and compact under the pipe. So I'm finally done with installing the sewer connection to my septic, which you can probably tell by, I probably look like I'm just dripping sweat everywhere. Um, yeah, I'm really tired of digging, I'm not gonna lie. Uh, but stick around for the next episode because we finally get to start framing. You can see the first post here, I finally just got started. And so I will be framing the first beam behind me. And then again, I'm gonna keep going. So it's gonna be really nice to be done dealing with concrete and soil and dirt and digging and finally get to frame wood. So I'm really looking forward to it and I hope you're as well.